Professor Wosu, you're welcome to Sahara TV. Uh, just a very quick interview here. Uh, one of the things that Nigerians respect you for is what you talked about today, that you establish a new political balloting process for the country that remains in place to today. But the question that remained unanswered uh, was the circumstances under which you left the stage in 1993. The last word we heard from you until you wrote a book was that this election is inconclusive. And the professor was so that everybody knows to be erudite and very charismatic and had laid down a very powerful political process disappeared from the pub from public view. What happened to you after the election in, on, on June 12, 1992? I, I didn't disappear. Part of the problem was that of the media too. Let me explain the process. Okay. From uh, June 16, 1993. Remember, we were promised that if that election was conducted to be free and fair, accepted by international observers and local observers, that we would be given national honors. So my colleagues were also working hard as Nigerians. So when, according to our efforts, you knew all the problems, all the restrictions, in spite of all that, June 12 came. The election was conducted, it was peaceful, materials were distributed all over Nigeria, uh, promptly in all difficult terrain because of arrangement uh, and logistic preparation we put in place. So uh, when the results started coming in June 13, 14, in fact it was to be concluded around June 17, 18. Uh, the other party, NRC had even congratulated SDP for winning. You know, suddenly there was a letter served on me by commissioner of police that we should cease forthwith in releasing the result. I summoned on June 16 emergency meeting of the commission. All the results had come in with the exception of that of Taraba, which the resident electoral commissioner from Delta, Professor Sada, was on his way to bring, we would have released the result about June 17. So they said, stop, I was served. In fact, I was called in a meeting of National Defense and Security Council and said, would you release this result without uh, knowing? I said, that's the law. There was no provision of the highest uh, ruling military body to vet the result. The law says that we, at the result, should be announced at each level. The polling station level, world headquarters, local government, world, state, and the uh, Finally, their conclusion at headquarters. In fact, almost every person, owing to the communication system we put in place, could even collect to know that Abiola had won. Now, with that, my commission met and we decided that we would challenge that uh, ruling by court, Abuja High Court, because it's commission of police that served it. And uh, when the next step was I was summoned at the level of uh, the National Defense uh, uh, Security and Defense Council. Headed by Babangida. Uh, Babangida and Abacha mm -hmm. was prominent. They said, okay, that a committee headed by Abacha should find a solution to the problem. I said, how do we find a problem? We should be allowed to conclude what we started to say, Abacha. In that committee, I'm quoting names. Abacha was in it. Nyako. The, Nyako was in it. 
uh, General uh, uh, Aliyu Guso was in it. David Mack was in it, was a Minister of Communication. The, uh, I was in it, Secretary of the Commission, Director of Legal Services was in it, Professor Deria, National Commissioner representing uh, uh, River State. We met in Abacha, when we met in Abacha's house, guest house in Abuja, he set another subcommittee including myself, Akwambo, late now, Ak Akilo, uh, the Secretary of the Commission, I think one other advisor in law in the uh, uh, State House. When we got at that subcommittee level, I told them, gentlemen, there is nothing for us to meet. The law is clear. Election have been conducted. Results have re been been collected. The only one remaining is that of Taraba, and he had come along with it. Please allow us to conclude. We are a technical body. We are not politicians. In any case, if you don't want us to relate the result. You should call Abiola and Tofa or negotiate with Abiola. That Abiola was the winner. Well, you know, military, the military personnel in it were afraid. This. They said, okay, you, you report, you are the chairman of the commission. We went back to Abacha's uh, guest house and uh, I reported, well, sir. The law that allowed us to conclude this election made no provision for this technical body for your committee. You should allow us to conclude the result with that of Taraba and announce it. Or you call in Abiola and negotiate with him. He shouted on me, who are you to tell us what to do? You are not a member of National Defense and Security Council. You are not. The council and the court, court decided you should not conduct the election. You went ahead and conducted the election that it was illegal. You will recall throughout Abacha's regime, his minister for information regarded the election as illegal. He said, well, you, you, you are not a member. Go. Go to Asorok, where will all of us will now take a decision? What will happen? Call all your national commissioners. That was it's a military regime. So because many people didn't know what so we we were I was to call my secretary to invite all my national commissioners to come to Asorok. It was David Mark. He was then the Minister of Communication, who called, he used mobile, that's when the mobile was starting. He called my say, Andrew Mana, I'm mentioning them. He called them, you all wanted at uh, Asorok. We went there, here was a full meeting. Which date was that? Well, around uh, 18, uh, yes, all this 18 June. When we got there, Babangida said, NEC, National Electoral Commission, what is your position on this election? I answered, I was the boss, leadership of NEC stops with me. I said, sir, allow us just two minutes so that it will not be Humphrey Mosu's decision. It will be that of National Electoral Commission. He said, okay, two minutes. We went to one of the rooms. Said gentlemen, ladies and and Iruku was a lady national commission. We don't have anything to do with politics of this. They should allow us to conclude and mm -hmm. announce whoever did not like the outcome should go to tribunal. That's the provision of the law. You know, we were talking of institutions.
allow institutions to work. Whoever didn't like it should go to tribunal. They said, you are reporting. Okay, okay. We came out. Sir, this is the decision of the commission. Allow us to conclude this election and announce the result. And that we will challenge that letter, court decision, which Commissioner of Police served on me, that we should stop announcing it. We will go to Federal Court of Appeal, Cardona Division. Uh, so he said, okay, you people are on your own. The Bangladesh said that. This, the decision of their death. He said, well, I'm, you know, in all this, I've mentioned them. So you went to court. Not by the Attorney General of the Federation should have championed that position, but he did not. It was director of legal services in NEC, Bello. He's still alive. No, Buhari Bello. I mentioned in my book, went to Kaduna Court of Appeal, filed the papers. We submitted all the results, including that of Taraba, showing that Abiola won the election. Abiola was represented by Eka Ajay. Tofa was represented. The court held first sitting. You know, it's Justice uh, Oke Achike. Mentioned it. Oke Achike, late. May he so rest in peace. For the chairman, he was ready to conclude. He ordered Abuja High Court to submit all matters relating to the election, all the results, and they were submitted to his court for accelerated hearing and decision for June 25th, 1993. Please. Now, this was done. Ajay Abiola was, he knew all that. And when you submit something to court, it becomes public document. Is it not? All the results were submitted to the court, appeal division, headed by Oke Achike, showing that Abiola won. Abiola knew. Why did Nigerian press not pick it from? Now, when this was to be done June 25th, the military quickly dissolved my commission on June 23rd. But Sir, one quick question. Yes. Is that there was a pronouncement you made that this election is inconclusive. Because the result was no, 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 no. Which date was that? No, I, I can't uh, quite remember, but it may have been in the book. Okay. The date, no. The inconclusive that we were not allowed to announce it. It, went, it became a subject of court uh, dispute. And all the results, as shown in this book, no other result as shown in the court, submitted before June 20, before my commission was dissolved. All the uh, election results were submitted. It became public document. And when my commission was dissolved on June 23, we were sacked. Where did you go next? What would I do when I'm no longer chairman? Where did you go? Did no, you no, go I was in Nigeria. You went back to Enugu? We were, went back to Enugu. I went, you know. First, I w when it was annulled, you know. Was there any time you were threatened physically, body, bodily harm? No, I wasn't, to tell you the truth, yeah. no person harmed me. Okay. But throughout Abacha's regime, every, yeah, very everybody good. was keeping a low profile. Uh, he, <laughs> thank you. you know. When June 12th is coming close, some police will Biden, uh, around my home. Yes. Just to make sure that you don't make any pronouncement. Mm -hmm. that yes, yes. Because we were dissolved. Because if I had made a pronouncement, I was no longer chairman national The commission was no longer the appointed OYA. So you're and saying I, for public record today yes. that Abiola won that election? I, I'm saying it. 
and it's in my book. I've said this is not the first time. And in all the documents we submitted, as far back as June 20, 1993, and which we submitted by Buhali Bello, Director of Legal Services, not Attorney General of the Federation, to tell you the extent I went. But the question people ask, and why your book was so controversial, was the fact that it seems to be always protective of... No, no, no. Uh, why I did about... Uh, ba oh, no, no, no. I didn't protect about Abacha. What happened is that when on June 11, I appeared before the meeting of National Defense and Security Council. When it became obvious they didn't want election because they were divided. Abacha group, Abacha wanted to. And you could see it thereafter when I, uh, Babangida stepped aside and Shonika was met. He pushed to uh, Shonika was, uh, 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 no, was made to resign. Abacha took over. You know, so this indicated that the military was divided. Were you in touch with Bangladesh after this decision? After your your How organization would was dissolved, be, he, he, or have you been in touch with him in such a way as to you know compare notes that when he would allow things to go? No, no, no. He even because he knew all that I said in that book was true. I mentioned name. I mentioned, you know Nigeria, no one when you mention them, if it's a lie, they will challenge you. I've mentioned David Mark again, about people who invited us to come to us. I mentioned Nyako, he's still living. I mentioned all of the people, Bello, director of legal service. Unfortunately, Akwambo is no more from my own part of the country. He didn't believe in what, you know, but Bello, from Kebi. They were really some Nigerians because who felt if we allowed the process because we believe in the two-party structure. We believe that election was free and fair. We believe that Nigerians, even NRC had uh, accepted the result. We believe it had allowed uh, Abiola would have had his eight years. Another person would have and would, the institution would grow. You know, I talked to you about institution building. It is when you grow, have sense of mission, you learn by experience, you conduct it, you hand over, and there can be no substitute to parties that start from grassroots and is open and go is funded by government. No one man will bring his money to decide I'm, I'm going to endorse, I'm going to do see all the endorsement in Nigeria. The question I was trying to raise when I was asking the question is that could you two have taken another route of say you take your family, you get out of the country and make the pronouncement or make the pronouncement Pro announcement out. as what? To pronounce the winner of the election. The winner of why why, why did no 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 you are you are you belong to media. Country. Are you saying the media didn't have access? to the result I submitted that became public record. Did media not know? You know, I heard... Well, no, 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 no. No, I heard series of interviews in Nigeria. No, when no, Abacha... Not as as no, no, no. When, when Abacha used... When Nadeko, when he came out, they all ran, ran to the United States, ran all over. I was in Nigeria. Because no one, when I went, I wasn't invited in the meeting of June 11, 1993. And when we were said, did any person come to my defense? None. When we were sat, no one asked. The people used, I wasn't invited in the meeting of June 11, 1993. I wasn't invited. Well, you went there. I went there. In fact, I was so low. No, 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 because I was a regular customer to Asor Rock. Because they saw me, I move in, no one will ask, you know. So, and, uh, and they went, because the military was divided. No one told them, don't allow Humphrey to come in. Because they would expect that seeing Humphrey, they wouldn't check, you know. So I, I seized on that, and I went with Bello, the person who went to Court of Appeal. He was even fidgeting, because we were not invited. 
So when we got to get, he said, oh, chairman, okay, go. Second gate, third gate. See all these security measures, sometimes it's gone. That checks. When we got uh, to president's office, before you go to where they were at, you must pass through his ADC. Nuhu Bohamale, he died as a major general in the front canoe. He was due to wanted the election to take place because it would have been an honor to him and his boss. It was he who contacted Babangida to say that Humphrey was around. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had access. I wouldn't tell you impossible, tell you lies. It was he who told uh, He said, but he wasn't invited. He said, he said uh, let him come upstairs. If Babangida had said, don't come, I wouldn't have ventured. Did I carry a gun? Did, did, did I have any uh, person escorting me? He said, unfortunately, Akwambo, I had met him earlier. He said, why this court this sin? It was he who really told me. That no, the, no, 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 that meeting will be, be holding at 10 o'clock, June 11, that I should go and rest. After the meeting, I will be asked to conduct the election. Something in me, but why? Why wasn't I invited? Why would they hold that kind of meeting without hearing? Because everything, it was my commission. National commissioners were in the field. Ballot papers had been distributed to state level, and that if you postpone it, it will be rigged. So there was urging me to go and explain. It's not something. Let me ask you, for, yes. for those years of turmoil, yes. that you were in Nigeria, how were you feeling about. Uh, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't easy, I must tell you. Were you depressed, yeah. panicking? I was, well, you, know, the... you know, I just decided within me whatever will be, will be. That is good. You don't die twice, you die once. You die for what you believe. We believed in Nigeria, we believed in that election. We believed in the reforms we were carrying out. And to that level, Babangida believed it. That's why he supported us. We were talking of offices. But nobody believes that Babangida wants this election. It's no, no. I think president. my personal opinion, what happened, he was torn apart. He wanted to be a hero, to hand over power. But his friend, who was heading, wanted to be president. So the two. But if you knew, why didn't you retire him from the army? Like well, the, 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 that's a question you should answer, not Humphrey. Mm -hmm. No, the, the, the problem is that, uh, you know, uh, so that's my view, you know, if, because there was strong opposition from him. The way he shouted on me, it's in my book. Will I tell a lie? for something which, for international community. This committee was set, and he shouted on me, who are you? You still haven't told me if you met Babangida after that, did you buy your book, did you like it, did you complain? Well, well, there's no question of meeting him to buy my book. I invited him when uh, they launched in June, June 12. He didn't show well, uh, you know, the mood of the nation. Yeah. But he would have. But most other people showed up, you know, or most other people uh, showed some were afraid, you know, and the media didn't help matters because from outright, even before the day, uh, you know, the previous day, they started uh, condemning me that I colluded with the military to annul without hearing my own side, without knowing that without me, going to that their meeting, they wouldn't have been June 12th. That I took risk without knowing that I was sad. There was no disengagement allowance. None till today. They didn't pay you? They didn't pay me. And was sacked. Who would like it? Many Nigerians, do they like to be sacked? Would, how many Nigerians would attend the meeting of military senior, the highest ruling military body in Nigeria without invitation. But couldn't you have resigned when, you, when it was obvious that... Resigned and leave the election because they would have said it was... Uh, maybe I was induced to resign. 
I wanted to yes, push I, it through. I wanted to ask if, <laughs> if the opposition reached out to you. Oh, no, 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 I, I didn't. Uh, uh, you went you know, to come to No, I didn't. All effort by the two sides to reach me, none. None. I stopped it. Because I said whichever party won is good enough. You know, but Abiola, oh, Abiola won in Kano. Abiola won in Kano. So it's unfortunate. And I wanted the passion to cool before my book so that people can now read it and see the fact. And I'm happy there are people who are still alive, I mentioned, by name. So you people who are in media, and Sahara is, uh, you are an internet. Yeah, uh, internet based. Uh, you know, so uh, I will check on what, what you want. And how you distribute it to your counterpart. Yeah. I blame the media for not going all out when all the results were submitted before June 23. The military was frightened that perhaps Justice uh, Achike, okay, Achike would allow NEC to conclude the result. That's why they dissolved us suddenly without uh, any notice. They dissolved us. That means you are no, whatever you are doing. You are no more of a part of. Remember, it uh, was military regime. Remember, and when they appointed me, I didn't know, and uh, deserve. Even though they have been Babam Gida complied, give me this, allow me do this. Open ballot allowed me, modified open ballot. They allowed me to nurture uh, the political association out of which two were to be selected. He allowed me. He allowed me to nurture SDP and NLC. He allowed me to conduct empirical verification uh, on what political associations did to discover that none of them uh, was truly national. And problem we are having in Nigeria is those two parties, they are dominant, they are not truly national, PDP and APC, as NRC and, P and uh, SDP because they all grew from group and they have a equal or uh, almost structure of membership from each state of federation. In the east, west, north, they were balanced and they were all co-founders and co-owners. And no money back as where they were referred. Uh, national leader was allowed to dump his money to influence who goes to Senate. Everything was through primary, whoever emerged for what election or local government or state election, through what is happening here and other democracies. And unless we return to that, we are not making any headway because these two parties, don't you see how they change uh, 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 members, governors move? When you were in PDP, suddenly you move to APC. Does that reform you? as somebody with a better uh, skill or, or when you move from APC, that does make you a better PDP. And they've been moving and they've not stopped moving. The press should ask, why are they not guided by ideology and principles? They're not, really. So, and one dominant, if they are dominant, they are dominant in certain areas. They sometimes constitute constraints against el viable electoral reforms. And it is even dangerous if the electoral empire is not neutral enough. If you give any tendency to favor one group, it wasn't the situation. I'm not saying that uh, that should not happen. The empire should be neutral and the entire nation should be its constituency. That if you're asked to do this again, will you do it? Well, I think I've done my bit to the nation, my nation, as we have no other country. I think at 73, I should be an elderly statesman or consultant or professional to help, to motivate, to urge, to advise, to encourage younger generations, technical bodies, government, at any time I'm um, wanted, like Justice Way's uh, Electoral Reform Committee, I presented a 60-page uh, paper, yes, 
you know, encouraged, they listened to me for four days and influenced quite a lot of what they did. In Sokoto, I presented a lead pepper, the only pepper. Shagari was there, Rimi was then alive, about 2005 or six, on how to reform our political parties, to back, to have national, integrated, grassroots oriented uh, political parties, not the type we are now having sometimes. Remember, if you have that, people may not care whether you have Muslim, Muslim ticket. Remember uh, Abiola and uh, Baba Kingu? No person will mind it because of this, they were guided by the policy, the platform. But w would that happen in Nigeria today? I doubt, you know, because we are so sometimes polarized, uh, guided by primordial uh, principles. That's what po national political parties should not. They should gain the almost equal strength in all states of the federation, in all religions, equal strength. None should be defined as belonging to this state or this religion. That's the kind of thing. That's the recommendation. And that should, for Africa, for Nigeria, you know. And that's why government should get involved. It's their money very well spent in helping to build structure, party party, political party structures in all states of the future. It was done. If it were allowed to have a gain route, we wouldn't be where we are today. You know, we would have gone just like Malaysia, Singapore. It's still my hope. Nigeria has a lot of potentials. As we tackled Ebola, that's commendable to all Nigerians, to Fashola, to former Minister of Health, Chuku, to River State Governor, to all of them, to President Jonathan, they all collaborated, is to trace the contacts and stopped it. Because if that had entered deep, as it is in Liberia or Guinea or Sierra Leone, we will not be talking of even election. Who will be having election? So, and that's where we should put all our hands, all our head, and work together as a nation and build national institutions that derive legitimacy from the people, not uh, serving the interests of other uh, uh, politicians. Thank you, Prof. Thank you.